Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm taking a look at how to make image maps for your channel banner if you are a YouTube partner. Now, if you're not a YouTube partner, don't be discouraged. You can still use uh, the technique that I'm going to show you here for creating image maps on other websites. So let's jump right into it. Here we have my channel. I'm going to click on Channel Settings. And we see here we have an area where it says Enter Image Map Code. So I'm going to copy this. And I've already made an image map, but I'm going to make a new one for my buddy I with Text channel. And I'm going to do that using a background that I made for him. So I've copied my image map code over, and I'll paste this code in the description, and I'll kind of uh, leave some blanks in there, which you'll need to fill in with the information that I'll show you here. So I'm going to remove my background, and then I'm going to add his background. So what you want to do is, in Paint or any Paint program, which gives you XY coordinates, as you see in this little section down here, but any program that gives you XY coordinates will do. You're going to open your background in that program. So I'm going to throw this over here. And then one of the things you're going to want to do is take note where your channel starts down here the only areas that YouTube will recognize for your image map is the space between this point and this point. So if your channel's wide, if your channel's wider, it's not going to recognize like say if I come over here, these coordinates are in the thousands range. It's not going to recognize anything above 970. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shift this over and so that's about right there. So you're going to want to shift it over so that the end of this point is the end, the beginning of this point right here. Because this will be where your coordinates are going to start. This is your zero uh, point of origin for XY coordinates. So once you've shifted that over you're going to want to come in here and start getting the coordinates of the things that you want to become links. So in this case, I'm going to want these three boxes over here to become links. So the tiny galaxy one, I'll take the top left coordinate, which is 590 by 67. And in my code over here, I already have a tiny galaxy link. So I'm going to put that at the top. And again, that coordinate was 590 by, let's just say 65. It's a nice round number. So this will become 590 by 65. And then the second number is the bottom right corner of that. So that'll become 6, let's say 650 by 129. and the link is good, that's where we want it to go. The second link will be the Twitter link, so should we only get rid of the ones that we're not going to need first. And since mine is going to go at the end, I'm going to put it at the end here. So for Twitter, Again, top left corner, 704 by 68. I'll just use 65 as well, so it's consistent with that one. And then the bottom right corner, 765. And again, I'll use the 129, so it's consistent with this one up here. And then of course, change the Twitter name to uh, with text Twitter name and then the last one which he was kind enough to put a link to my channel or my homepage rather I will get the left corner again 20 
And the bottom corner. Let's see. So there we go. These are now going to become our links. I'll copy this code and dump it back here. There it goes. So I'll hit done editing. And hopefully now these should be clickable links. Pause this again. So as you can see, as I hover over them, so this one goes to Tiny Galaxy, which is what I wanted. Hit back. This goes to Twitter. To I would text Twitter. Go back. And this one goes to my homepage. Awesome. So there you go. Pretty easy to do. Like I said, all you need is a photo editing program that gives you XY coordinates. And I'll put a template in the description with the code as well as the parts that you need to fill in yourself so that you can create image maps for yourself. And again, just the one thing to remember is if your wallpaper is bigger than this area here, you're going to want to shift it over in that photo editing program so that it works for you. So hopefully this is useful to you partners out there, as well as to those of you who just want to make image maps on a web page. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, feel free to contact me here on YouTube or on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button at the top. So until then, enjoy making those image maps and creating a snazzy channel banner for your channel. Take care.